you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Dr. Fox. To our university presidents, yes or no, have you established rigorous programs and rules to address and prevent sexual harassment and violence against women on your campuses? Yes or no? Dr. Gay? Yes. Yes. Ms. McGill? Yes. 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 Thank you. Uh, please bear with me because as a mom, a daughter, and a woman, what I'm about to share is hard. An article from CNN, which examines the Israeli investigation into acts of sexual violence by Hamas during the events of October 7th, includes a testimony from a female witness of the Nova Festival attack. Quote, they bent someone over, and I understood he was raping her. And then he was passing her on to someone else. The woman who was not identified said of what she saw. Quote, she was alive. She stood on her feet, and she was bleeding from her back. I saw, what he, I saw that he was pulling her hair. She had long brown hair. I saw him chop off her breast, and then he was throwing it toward the road. Tossed it to someone else, and they started playing with it. The witness added, I remembered seeing another person raping her, and while he was within her, he shot her in the head. This is just one of hundreds of accounts of sexual assault that happened on October 7th. Dr. Gay, an article in the Harvard Crimson dated October 10th includes a statement from the Harvard Undergraduate Palestine Solidarity Committee, co-signed by 33 other student organizations at Harvard. I'd like to read the statement to you. Quote, we, the undersigned student organizations, hold the Israeli regime entirely responsible for all unfolding violence. How, Dr. Gay, do you recon reconcile the blatant hypocrisy of allowing your students a forum to promote and celebrate terrorist groups that make the rape and mutilation of women and children a core function of their operations, while at the same time working for years to combat sexual violence towards women, and by allowing a month to pass before addressing with a real plan and demonst uh, the demonstrations and intimidations on your campuses, what message is this? and this delay conveying to your women on your campuses, I can only imagine how terrifying it is to be a Jewish woman on any of your campuses. Just last night, a Jewish student from MIT wrote to me that she felt fearful and was forced to leave her study group during her doctoral exams because someone in her group told her that the women at the Nova Festival deserved to die because they were partying on stolen land. Now, while I am grateful for your condemning of anti-Semitism in statements to your students and to this committee, it's not enough. There has been no real action to hold anti-Semitic students accountable for their behavior. They should be expelled. The bottom line is that the buck stops with university presidents and all students should feel safe on a college campus, especially in this case, Jewish women as it would be terrifying to know that my administration is not doing more than simply condemning student groups, perpetuating terrorist messaging. And as a former administrator myself in higher education, this is a major step backward in all that we have done to stand up against sexual violence towards women. I have always defended higher education in this institution, but quite frankly today, I am embarrassed. I yield back the remainder of my time to Ms. Stefanik. 